So, I'm not, I don't want to be, I don't want to be one of those guys that constantly complains about the police not doing their job, right? But I do a lot of photography, right? Uh, especially uh, wildlife photography. The best time to catch that wildlife photography is at sunrise, right? So you have to come out, it's dark at the moment, you have to come out before sunrise and wait, like probably like an hour before, maybe an hour and a half before sunrise and wait until sunrise. It's about four o'clock just now, so four o'clock at 4 a.m. and uh, it'll be sunrise probably about 5.30 or something like that, right? So, but, quite, I mean, I mean, like, this happened, I don't think I've ever driven past the Coburnie police station in the middle of the night and the, the car park's not been full of the police cars and their cars. They do not patrol the streets at night time when the criminals are out breaking into sheds, breaking into garages, all that kind of stuff. They don't patrol at all. They just sit in the office all night and do nothing. That's what your taxpayer's dollar, your taxpayer's pound, is paying for. So when when you get your shed broken into, or when you get your garage broken into, and you call them up and you say, look, somebody's broken in here, you know, I need to get uh, a crime reference number, I need you to investigate it for me. They come out and they do nothing. They do, all right, okay, right, we'll give you the crime reference number, but the chances of getting your stuff back is quite slim. You know, like, the people that do this, uh, unless we catch them actually in the act, then we, there's very slim, very small chance of us catching them. But they're not out patrolling, so they will never catch them in the act. I'm not being, I'm not, I don't want to be like a, a complainer or anything here, right? But I see it. Every time I drive past the police station in Coburnie, every time they're just parked in there, just like not even not even in the cars, they're just sit they're probably sleeping. They're probably sitting in that police station sleeping. That's how bad our policing is at the moment. And I have had my shed broken into, and I and my grandmother's house was broken into as well. So I do know what it feels like for. Uh, that to happen and nobody was ever caught for it nobody was ever prosecuted for it nobody was, they don't even have any they didn't even have any suspects or who they thought it might be that's how bad it is i mean like they don't patrol so they're never going to catch them in the act you know and unless they catch them in the act they say that the chances of them being able to catch people like selling your tools or whatever is very slim because let's face it they don't even try to catch them anymore you know like they, they, they don't go to the car boot sale what about block air or anything like that and try and find the stolen items the stolen tools or anything you know they just they just let them get away with it you know and the fact that they're not out patrolling the streets you know during the night when the freaking criminals are out you know, like, it makes no sense to me at all. I mean, why are we paying any money to these guys just to sit in the office and sleep all night? Why are we paying for them to sleep? Yeah, night shift can be a, night shift can be a pain in the neck and, you know, and it's not very exciting, you know, just out patrolling the streets. But just their presence on the streets should be enough to deter the criminals from actually making any sort of uh, breaking in or anything on that particular night. Just the fact that they're out. And also their response time is shorter if they're out on patrol. So if they're out patrolling the Garnet Valley area and they get a call, they have to get up, get their gear on, get out to the car, start the car, drive that car to the scene, wherever it may be, like B, that could be B, Dorai, Kuburne, whatever. That takes more time to do that if they're if they're not out. If they're out driving on patrol and you've got one patrol in Dorai, one patrol in Coburnie, and one patrol in Beath, and a call comes in, their response time is about is about pro probably about thirty percent of what it would be 
if they if if they're sitting in that police station, and it would be, in fact, it would be even less. See, like if it was Dorai or Beath, and the call came in, and they had to come all the way for Kuberni, you're talking at least fifteen to twenty minutes response response time for them to get there. They're never catching anybody. It's ridiculous. I see it all the time, you know. And we've suffered a lot of vandalism and whatnot up at the woodlands and stuff, you know. Uh, at night time, you know, where the like, the kids coming out setting fires and whatnot, and we ask them to do a few patrols, you know, just come up and just like uh, have a little nosy about, you know, make sure they're behaving themselves and whatnot. Not necessarily do anything, but like just make sure that the pre you know, their presence is felt. Not once did they attend. Not once did they walk into the woodlands. Like even just walk down to the bridge. It's only like it's only like two hundred meters from the road. You know, they never did it. You know, and it's just, I don't know if anybody else is sick of this. You know, like, I know i know a lot of people who have had their sheds broken into. I know people who have had their houses broken into. I know people who, like, have had to call the cops in the middle of the night because something's been occurring and the response time has been absolutely shocking. But, to, see, to be honest, the police don't care. They're not. They're not even interested. They're not even interested in doing their job. And this is another reason why people hate them, because not only do they not do their job, when a crime does happen and you're a victim of it, the first person they investigate is you. You're the victim of the crime, and the first person they point the finger out is you. And this is, you know, no wonder people fucking hate them. No wonder we can't stand them. Because they don't even do their job. In Garnock Valley, I heard, now I'm not sure if this is correct or not, but I heard police officers are sent to Garnock Valley as a sort of punishment. You know, like, they don't get to patrol, they don't get to go to Irvine and all that kind of stuff because they get sent, the police officers, the police officers don't like to operate out of Garnock Valley area. So they get sent here as a punishment. So whatever it is that they've done to receive that punishment, probably incompetence, that's why they're in Kaburni. That actually came from a police officer. But anyway, that's my rant over for this morning. I just like I just keep noticing I've got this uh, I've got ADHD so I notice patterns I notice patterns all the time it, with everything I notice patterns and I just I see this this same pattern all the time with these guys you know and I just I just I'm just sick of it to be honest you know like society needs better policing doesn't it really to be fair we need a better police force. We need we need a, a more caring and a more empathetic police force that that actually wants to do the job. You know, these guys that join the police force, they're just in there for the wage, and they don't care if they're sleeping in the office or not. You know, they, it doesn't make any difference to them. They're getting paid anyway. You know. But anyway, I'm hoping to get some wildlife on camera this morning and. I hope everybody has a lovely day and I hope it turns out to be a bit better day because it's a bit drizzly at the moment. But I don't mind a little bit of rain. <laughs> right, have a good day.